Hey guys, so finally another tutorial for the first time in forever. You guys have been asking for this for quite some time. I, listen, I'm not very good at hands. A lot of you guys point out that I'm not good at hands, but you guys keep asking for tutorials anyways. So I'll teach you what I do know and uh, please take it very lightly because uh, don't follow like everything I do because obviously I need some improvement myself. But like I said, I'll just teach you like the very basics of what I know and maybe that'll help you and maybe it'll help me, who knows. So before I get started, please remember that you probably have hands, probably. So if you need any references, uh, your hand is a good reference. Feel free to have like a kind of mirror, like a mirror in front of you, maybe like by the side of your computer so that you can make poses with your hand and try to draw those. So that's always very handy. That's something that I've learned to do and uh, that's good for facial expressions too, by the way. So hands, <sighs> I, hate the, I hate drawing hands. So a lot of artists will tell you that uh, to a good way to start with hands is to remember that they are made of shapes and that you should start with shapes. But to be completely honest, it's like a waste of time. Don't bother with shapes. Like, they, they don't mean anything. Uh, I suggest you just go right for it. Like, just stare at your hand and draw it. A, a good thing to do, or like, it's not super good, but it's kind of something I've learned, is to put your hand on the tablet and then trace it. So, let me do that right here. I'm going to show you guys how I... This looks... This only looks good when you're drawing, um like hands in what is it like a flat view oops sorry let me put this back here my hand is kind of ah my hand is kind of big so it doesn't really fit on the tablet but i'll draw what i what i can fit like this oh god that's wrong okay so here's my hand of uh, it's kind of big for the canvas this usually does work but for some reason it's just not working today so i'm going to resize it to be a lot smaller like this and then I'm just gonna like finish off the fingers like this. Oops. Like I said, this only works for very limited poses because you need your hands to be flat for this to work. Where's my thumb? Oh no, what hand did I use? Look, if I do this, looks like a glove. But um, this is not like the final product. This is just how to get started on drawing the flat hand. You gotta just make another layer and go on top of it using a different color. Fix it a bit, make the fingers a little less sausagey. Let's keep in mind the different lengths of fingers. Your middle finger is probably gonna be the, probably the longest. I heard that like there's different like hand shapes, you know? So maybe some people's, uh, the, the sizes or the lengths of the fingers are not as dramatic as other people's fingers or whatever. But uh, the middle finger does tend to be longer than the rest. So keep that in mind. I don't know why middle fingers are longer. I guess it's just like to make it more convenient when you're angry at people and you want to like show them your emotions. So this is like the finished product. It's a, a lot uh, better. Let me do this. Another thing to go for or here, let me bring back this perfect. Okay. I mean, it's not a perfect hand, obviously, because this has a lot of things wrong with it. But um, let's look back at this tracing of my incredible hand. It does look okay, but it's definitely not accurate. As you guys can tell, I had to kind of like finish off the sketch because my hand was too big for the tablet but I need you guys to realize that these fingers are very short and stubby and nobody really has fingers this bad so what I would recommend is to use your face to like measure how long your hand is and your fingers and you will probably notice that your fingers are probably the same length as your face so let me just fix this up I'm gonna use my you can't see because I don't have like face cam right now but I'm gonna measure like my fingers and let me just Make them a little more accurate. So let me just fix this over here. Just get this out of it. Okay. There we go. Let me bring that. All right. The thumb, by the way, stays the same size because thumbs are relatively short and stubby. So this is how long fingers should probably be all the time um, with different like uh, thicknesses, of course. So make sure that the fingers are like twice the length of the palm. And then it'll probably look a little bit better. Again, use your own hand as reference. If your fingers are not this long, you should probably go to the doctor because there's something wrong with you. I'm so sorry to tell you this. So here I am. I'm starting to draw another hand. I don't really know what pose I'm going for. So I'm just kind of like drawing just random like this. Um, let's see. This is going to be the inside of a hand. By the way, I know these fingers are very like squared off but this is just kind of like my rough sketch i always do it squared off like this first just because it's a lot easier and then i round it out 
but this is the inside of a hand. Make sure when you do insides of hands, you do this bump right here because that's your thumb fat. And so uh, you gotta make sure you have meat on your hands, or else you just you like you can't hold stuff, you know. So make sure you're able to hold stuff and that your characters are able to hold stuff because it's like really good. Also, if you have uh, hand fat, it makes it really comfortable for bugs when you hold them. So let me draw like a little bug like right here. It's a ladybug. I just, I really like ladybugs now. So there's a ladybug and it's really happy because there's, it's really nice and cushiony. So make sure you give your characters kind of like meat on their hands, you know. It's more realistic and also bugs really like it. I think dogs probably like it too. Let me take off this bug and then like flip this hand around so that it can be petting a dog. Let me see. Here's a hand about to reach out. And then I gotta draw a dog. So you do this. And then you... <sighs> Drawing dogs are really weird. And then you give him like the big eye because he's like super excited. And you color him in like this. Oops, I forgot his nose. And then his teeth. I actually don't know if this is a dog. This might be like some kind of like fox uh, thing. But um, this dog is really happy to be pet because he really likes his hand. It's really nice and cushiony and it's not gonna hurt his head. So, yeah, make sure to put some fat on your hands so that animals like you more. And then if you die, they can eat it. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but, like, my cat is meowing outside my door because she hears me recording, and she's like, ooh, what's going on in there? And now she wants to get into the freaking room. Kitty, it's not for kitty, okay? Leslie has to take some time. Stop! You guys probably can't even hear her because that's how it always works. I always have background noise and I apologize for it. And you guys are like, what background noise? So, I mean, that on one hand, it's really good. But on the other hand, it makes me look like a fool and everything. It's just weird. But <sighs> moving on. Mommy's trying to record, kitty. Mommy has to make money to eat, kitty. How do you think you get cat treats, huh? Who do you think pays for your cat treats? It's me. Anyways. So, um, we're gonna start with some very, very easy and simple hand poses that pretty much anybody can draw, um, because I draw these all the time, so you guys should know they're super easy. We're gonna do, like, the peace sign and the, like, um, like the shocker or something like that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna start with two fingers. Make sure, again, that the middle finger is a bit longer. Oh, come on. A phone call right now. I always get phone calls when I'm recording. Have you guys noticed? Nobody ever calls me until I have a video to do. And I really shouldn't ignore this call. She's gonna get so mad at me. Oh no. Um, sorry guys, it's my girlfriend. Uh, would it be like an invasion of privacy if I like answered it on speaker? Oh no! Oh god, I missed her call. Um, I'm gonna call her back. I'm sorry guys, I know. I mean, I, I could probably edit this out, but she got mad at me last time for ignoring her. <laughs> she was the one who called me during my Akinator one. Hey, sorry for ignoring your call. Is everything okay? It's okay. Okay, that's good. I thought you were going to be mad at me again. Who, me? I mean, I, I don't know who else I'm talking to. Don't worry about it. So are we still going to hang out tonight or do you want to cancel? I have very few wants. So like, is that a yes? Or are you giving me mixed signals, you know? Who, me? <sighs> I knew you were going to do this. I knew you were going to be mad and you're going to be playing it off like you're not. I don't know what that means. If you like, I can search the web for. I knew you were going to do that. I knew you were going to be mad and you're going to be playing it off like you're not. <laughs> I can't pull this off anymore, guys. <laughs> that was so dumb. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I tried my best. I'm not really good at pranks. <laughs> Like, I, I knew I didn't have a good idea for April Fool's, but, like, I wanted to do it anyways just because I felt bad for not doing an April Fool's thing. And so I was gonna do this, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I knew that a couple of you guys would forget that it's April Fool's Day, and that you're gonna be excited that I made a hand tutorial, but I didn't. Listen, thank you for watching. Oh, God. Now I'm sad. I <laughs> oh, God. Um... But I'm pretty sure you guys already knew that I wouldn't have a girlfriend, right? Like, when I said that, when I said, oh, it's my girlfriend, you automatically knew, ah, this is a prank, right? You guys had to have known that, right? Thank you for watching. Sorry for wasting your time. Thank you for, like, staying till the end if you made it this far, though. Um, happy April Fool's, I guess. Never doing a hand tutorial. Stop asking me. Love you. Bye. Okay, that's good. I thought you were going to be mad at me again. Who, me? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know who else I'm talking to. Don't worry about it. Aww. <laughs>